if you're ready to escape all the negativity that's currently going on in the world, if you're ready to discover, you know, what, what is it that, that it takes to be happy? How can you truly be happy? If, discover your purpose in life and grow to fulfill your purpose and make the rest of your life the best of your life. Join me this week for, for this week's session of Wednesday Wisdom and Leadership. That's exactly what we're going to talk about. All right, let's do this. You were born to succeed. You were born to succeed. That means that you were born with success in mind. And now, I know we're throwing around that's a lot of words, right? I could say success, I could say succeed, but then we'd have to make sure we clarify so that you understand exactly what I mean when I say success or succeed. And if you're going to be successful, in order to be successful, there's three criteria. And I didn't make this up. I didn't make it up, you know, guys a lot older, wiser, more intelligent than even myself. They shared this with me. And, and one guy, he shared this with me and he said, his name's John. And John says that success is a three part formula for success. He says, part one is knowing or discovering your purpose in life. He said, so before you can even ever become successful, the first thing you have to do is you have to discover your purpose in life. And he said, the second thing you have to do, the second thing you have to do, if you're going to be successful, is you have to grow to fulfill your purpose in life. All right. So you have to know your purpose. That's part one. Part two, you have to grow to fulfill your purpose in life. And then he said, the third thing you have to do, he said, the third thing you have to do if you're going to be truly successful in life is you have to serve your purpose in life. And I remember I sat there, I looked at him. I said, if you do that, you're going to find a happiness that you've never found before. You're going to experience a happiness that you've never experienced before. And I look around the world, man, and I look at everybody and everybody they're they're not happy. They're protesting, they're rioting, there's craziness in the streets, they're robbing, they're looting, they're stealing, they're killing, they're conniving each other, they're conning each other, they're trying to get over on one another because they're not happy. But what I discovered is I applied this in my own life. I applied it in my life and I said, well, if I'm going to share with this with, with anybody, I've got to apply this on my own life so that I know that it works and I've got to be 100% positive that it works. And so I'm sharing it with you today because it works. The first thing I had to do is I had to discover myself before I could even discover my purpose. I had to discover myself. And if you're wondering, if you're trying to figure out how to do this and you don't want to do it alone, listen, I extend my hand as a coach to take you through this process to help you discover yourself. Because once you discover yourself, it's almost like meeting the guy who met, who, who gave birth or life to your existence and your creation. You meet that person, it's almost as if they gave you a blueprint and they said, hey, here's who you are. Here's who you are. And I'm not going to go into depth there, but I can tell you that, you know, body, mind and soul. We've all heard the mind, body, soul. There's a reason that that combination, those three things have been around for millennia. They've been passed down for centuries and generations is because it's all true. There's this one law, it's, it's called, and I'm going to come back to the other ones, but there's this law I want to share with you today. It's called the universal law of divine oneness. And the universal law of divine oneness says that we are all created. We are all one. We're all part of something a lot larger and greater than ourselves. And if I was to get further into the law of divine oneness, you would understand that the one thing that connects us, there's two things that connect us all, everyone who is on the planet and the universe, Everyone is one thing. There's two things that connect us. One thing is energy. We're all, we all have this energy running through us and this energy all comes from one source. And if you listen to the, the mystics, you know, the Eastern schools, the philosophical schools, the, the, the schools that date back to antiquities, you know, to the ancient societies, then there was, they, 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 they give a name to that energy. And the name they use to describe that energy that runs through you and through me is spirit. 
Another name for that spirit, they call it the soul. They call that the soul of man. They say, really, you are that energy. You are an expression. Your physical being, your physical body on the outside is an expression of that energy that's flowing through you. Expressed through your mental state. And it's, it's seen on a physical plane, which would be the body. So there's, there's body, that's the physical, the exterior, this thing that you see here, that's the body. And then there's the mind, right? And we, the mind is here, we can't see it, it's not the brain, it's not the brain, don't get that confused. But then there's the mind, so you have to understand your mind and how it is that you think. And I'd love to help you understand that and get a better understanding for how it is that that mind of yours is working. And how your mind makes you different from all the other minds that you know. You are very unique. You are very unique. But there's the mind. And then the thing that connects the body, the physical world, this, this physical environment that we have, to the spiritual world is the mind. Your mind connects the rest of your body to the spirit. And your spirit connects you to God. There's a lot of different names for God. You can say God, Allah, Yahweh. I've heard so many names. I pulled up my, my dictionary one time, and it said there's over a, a thousand different names that people use to express or give name to the same spiritual existence, this thing that's larger than all of us. But they just call it God. So the first thing you know, we're going to jump back. The first thing you have to do is you have to know yourself. You know, the old temple in, in Adelphi, in Adelphi, the old temple, it, it, there, was a, there was an inscription above the doors of the temple that says, know thyself, man, know thyself. Say, man, know thyself. Yeah, you have to know yourself to know what you're truly capable of. And once you discover who you are, the next thing you have to do is now it becomes easy. It becomes possible for you to now know and discover your purpose. And often we say discover, but I, I want to tell you something. It, it's really not that complicated. The, the thing that you really have to do is just figure out who you are. You've been given certain natural gifts, talents, and abilities for a reason. You were born for a purpose. But now you have to figure out how it is that you're going to utilize your natural gifts, talents, and abilities to serve your purpose. That means that you know you have to first, you have to claim your purpose. Yeah, you have to claim your purpose. You see, if, I, if, I, if you ask me what my purpose was, my purpose is to help you do exactly that. My purpose is to help you discover who you are so that you can believe in yourself. Because you're, you're an awesome person. You've been, wow. You know, sometimes I can't find the right words to, because I, I don't want to say this incorrectly, but I want you to understand that you are great. You are a spiritual being. You are a spiritual being. You are a child of God. You're a child of the Most High. You are an expression of the Most High. You know, there, there's this verse in the Bible that I really like. I really, really like it. And, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a religious guy. I'm not, a, I'm probably the most spiritual guy that you will meet. And I do some things religiously. All right. But I'm not a religious guy. I'd love to share that with you sometime. But there's this verse and it's Psalms. And I think it's Psalm 82, 6. that says, you are God. I don't know if anybody from the church or any other religious organization has ever told you that. I know there's a few who have, but you are God. Manifest on earth. Hmm. Hopefully I said that correctly. If not, I'll fix it later. But that means that you are also the loyal servant of the master creator of the heavens, the earth, the universe, and all that does exist. And now what you have to do is you don't really have to discover your purpose. You do, but what you really have to do is you have to claim it. You see, there's not going to be some sign on the side of the road that says, hey, 
This is your purpose. You're not going to walk five miles down the street and somebody's going to come out. Well, they may. They may. But it's, they're going to tell you something. They may tell you that, hey, your purpose, you were born to do this. You were born to do whatever's going on in your mind. But at the same time, you're going to have to accept and you're going to have to claim your own purpose. And once you accept and claim your purpose, you can now start to develop a plan. We could even sit down and we could work together and help you develop a plan on how, it, how do you grow. You develop what I call a personal growth plan to help you grow into the person you must be in order to serve your purpose, right? Discover yourself. And then the next thing you do here, discover your purpose. Two most important days ever, right? The day that you're born and the day you discover why. Know yourself from birth. I don't know why they don't teach us that in school. Why don't they teach us who we are? Why don't they teach us that we're all just a little bit different? Why don't they teach us that we all process information and data just a little bit differently? Why don't they teach us that we are individuals? But even as individuals, we can still come together and work together for common good, for greater good, for some major purpose. Why don't they tell us that? I'm not sure. Huh. I'm not sure why they don't tell us that. I've got an idea. But it's going to require you to discover your purpose, claim your purpose, create a plan, a growth plan. I'd love to sit down with you, you know, and we can talk about this and we can talk about, you know, how do we get you to the place where you can fulfill and serve your purpose? Because if we do that, everything else will fall in line. I guarantee you, everything else will fall in line. Hmm. A lot of people, they're out there, they're chasing money, they're trying to figure out how to get rich quick, how to make a couple of bucks, how to, they're grinding and they're hustling. They're still not happy. If you're looking for a way to be happy, if you want to be happy, here's what you do. Discover yourself. Learn about yourself. Know who you are as an individual. That's, 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 that's the first thing you have to do. You have to figure out who you are. You have to really figure out who you are. And, you know, I, I made it very simple, but there's a little bit more to you. I said, you know, body, mind, and soul. That's very simple. It's very simplistic. There's more to it. It's a little bit more difficult. You are a unique individual. You have been given certain gifts, talents, and abilities. Some people know exactly what their gifts, talents, and abilities are. Some people have a, an idea. A lot of people, most people aren't sure. I wasn't sure for a long time. I had an idea. I wasn't sure. But I can help you figure it out because now I'm 100% positive. You know, I, I like to say I'm 1,000% positive, but somebody told me, hey, they just, they don't, they, listen, I'm positive. I'd love to help you figure out yours. And if you're ready, I would love to help you. I'm, I've am got a, I got a free resource. I've got a free resource that I'm willing to get you. I think it could help. I said I know it could help. But today, here's what I want you, I just want you to think about this. I want you to think about who are you? Ask yourself that, who am I? What are my natural gifts, talents, and abilities? What are they? I have this survey I'd love to share with you. If you're interested, send me a message or something, I'll get it to you on a case-by-case -case basis, or maybe I'll leave a link. Actually, I may just leave a link to that link button there, and uh, you can click on that link. Now, you'll have to put in an email address or something so we know exactly that you're a real person and you got good intents, intentions. You'll be able to download one of my little worksheets or something like that. And maybe it'll help you to reflect and think about who you are so that you can claim your purpose. And so that you can claim that purpose, we can come up with, it'll give you uh, some steps, maybe a few goal steps or something like that, so that you can actually begin to serve or grow to becoming the person that you have to be. Set yourself some goals and some milestones so that you can actually grow to become the person you need to be to fulfill your purpose. And then the magic happens when you actually start serving your purpose. Serve your purpose. You are the loyal servant of the master creator of the heavens, the earth, the universe, and all that does exist. And if you serve your purpose, you will find happiness like none ever. 
most of the vices that people use and distractions, they do that because they're not happy. People think alcohol, gambling, drugs, sex, you know, filthy habits. Some people eat and overindulge in things that they shouldn't overeat and indulge in, and they do it mostly because they're stressed, they're confused, we're living in challenging times. You know, they're not really challenging times. I would love to tell you that the world is perfect. But the first thing I want to tell you is you have to discover yourself. You know, because if you don't know who you are, if you don't know what you're capable of, and if you don't understand anything else, you will probably ne never understand that the world is perfect. You live in an awesome time. There's never been a greater time for you to recreate yourself or to create yourself or to escape your humdrum existence and to make the world serve you. You're the loyal servant of the master creator, but the master creator gave you an ability to make the world serve you. You are the creator of your own existence, of your own little piece of the world. You have some gifts. You know what? Next Wednesday, I'll talk about that. Next Wednesday, we're going to talk about that. You know, actually, I think next Wednesday, I'm going to ask you the next question. It's going to be, what is it that you really want? Most people don't know what they want. <laughs> they don't know exactly who they are. They're still concerned. They're confused. They're trying to find some spiritual enlightenment somewhere. They think it has to be hard. You know, they think they have to be immersed in water and walk through fire. <laughs> it's not that hard. But you have to figure out who you are as an individual. I'd love to help you do that. I have something different that can help you do that on a case-by-case -case basis. All right, figure out who you are. But here's the most three important things I want you to remember. If you're going to be successful in life, there's three things you have to do. Number one, you have to discover or claim your purpose in life, your major purpose in life. Number two, you have to grow to fulfill that purpose. And number three, you actually have to serve your purpose. You have to serve your purpose. Serve the world to serve your purpose. You do that. You're going to be extremely happy. Is there more to it? Yeah. But hey, it's Wednesday. I just wanted to jump on here and share this with you. If you're watching, you, you obviously, you have something that you're looking for. I wanted to share something with you to give you something of value. But think about that today. Who are you? What's your purpose? Why were you born? Why were you created? And why are you watching this right now? Nothing happens by mistake. There are no mistakes. Not in this universe. Nothing happens by mistake. Everything happens to cause something else to happen. Hopefully this video, video will cause you to put some more thought into that. And hopefully it will cause you to join me back here next Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday Wisdom and Leadership. That's what we're going to do. I'll see you next time.